Welcome to another Harry Potter inspired crochet tutorial. This time we will be making Hedwig uh, with a cute Gryffindor scarf. Since the tutorial is quite long, I decided to put it into two parts. So in this video, I'll show you how to make the head together with the eyes and the beak. So for this tutorial, you will need one skein of velvet yarn. Uh, there are many brands that make it, so you can choose whichever you like. I have this one. And then I chose a yellow yarn for the beak and the legs, and also another yarn in Gryffindor colors to combine for the scarf. Uh, next, I will be using a 4.5mm crochet hook and a size 4. Uh, needles to make the scarf, then some markers and tapestry needles, a pair of scissors, and to make the head turnable I added a joint. Uh, this one is the three centimeter one but it was actually quite small, uh, it was the only one they had so if you can get a bigger one it would be better. And for the eyes, I chose these safety clip-in eyes with gold glitter on the background. You will also need a 4mm hook to make the beak and the legs some hollow fiber for the filling, and some cotton string to sew the individual parts together in white color. So let's get started, first with our white velvet yarn. And we will be starting with a magic circle. Uh, you put it between your pinky and ring finger, wrap it around to make an X at the bottom and a straight two lines on the top. And you go under, pull through, twist, and then to secure it, you pull through the yarn that is connected to uh, the ball of yarn. And make sure you straighten the ends so it's possible to pull the magic circle closed afterwards. So once you have the magic circle, make six single crochets inside it and then pull it closed. And sorry about the white yarn on the white background, but hopefully you can see uh, what's going on here. Okay, so now I finished the first row, and in the second row you will be increasing into each of those six single crochets. Now is also a good time to add your marker so that you know where the beginning is, because we will be crocheting into a spiral. So. You increase each of the single crochets for a total of 12 single crochets. In row 3, you will be making one single crochet, one increase, and repeat this uh, six times around. So you should have a total of 18 stitches at the end.
In row four, you're going to continue gradually increasing. This time it will be two single crochet, one increase. And again, repeat this pattern six times around for a total of 24. For row 5, the pattern is 3 single crochet, 1 increase, and again 6 times repeat. And row 6, 4 single crochet, 1 increase, repeat 6 times for a total of 36. And that's it for the increases from row 7 to 18 and just continue to single crochet around so 36 single crochet in each round and this is what it should look like once you've finished all the way to row 18. So now you can cut the yarn and we're going to make the eyes and afterwards uh, sew the top of the head together. So now let's make the two eyes. For those, you again, well, you will start with a magic circle like before. And exactly like with the beginning of the head, make six single crochet inside the magic circle and then pull it closed. Thank you. 
In the next row, follow the pattern one single crochet, one increase, six times around for a total of 18 stitches. Third row is simple, just 18 single crochets around. And for the last fourth row, you will be doing this time not single crochet, but 18 slip stitches. This means you just pull the yarn through without yarn over. Okay, so we finished our first eye and of course make the second one exactly the same. So you can rewind the video and make one more. And here I'm just going to pull the yarn into the back. And here I already added the golden eyes inside. And I will be finishing off the ends because we won't be using them. To sew these on, I will be using the cotton string that we have um, because it is stronger than the velvet yarn. So here I'm tying a knot of the two ends and cutting them because we will no longer need them. And I will be adding the eyes into the ninth row, approximately in the middle of the head, and leaving a small space between them. So with my tapestry needle, I pull the string in through the back and leave a short tail and go back inside and tie a knot with this tail.
And now you're going to sew on the eyes, just going back and forth with the white string. And I'm not sewing it completely to the edge, but right before we did the slip stitch row. So on the inner lining. And you can also push through the eye so that it holds in place a little bit better. Then when you complete the whole circle, you can tie the ends uh, with the tail that you have from the beginning. So after we sew on both of the eyes, like this, we can add the joint to the bottom. It's necessary to do it now because once you sew the sh head shut, it will be impossible to add it. So I'm adding one of the parts of the joint from the inside of the head, and then the second one will be inside the body once we finish it. So pull that through. And now we can stuff the head with hollow fiber before we close it shut. And to close the head, I will be using the white velvet yarn and the tail that we left uh, when we finished crocheting the head. And then pull the ends together. And sew through. And when you reach the end, make a knot to secure the yarn in place. And then hide the end of the yarn inside the head.
and to make the ears we're going to sew the ends together like this to create these little triangle ears so just sew through side weights Okay, so here are the ears. To finish off again, you can make a knot and pull through to hide the yarn, the tail of the yarn inside the head. And last thing we need to make on the head is the beak. So for the beak I'm going to be using this mustard colored yarn. You only need a little bit so if you have some scrap yarn at home you can definitely use that if you have a suitable color. And once again we will be starting with a magic circle and this time don't forget to switch to the smaller uh, crochet hook which is three and a half millimeters. And in the magic circle uh, we will be doing four single crochet. Then pull your magic circle closed and in the second row we will be increasing in each of the four stitches from the previous row so you should have a total of eight single crochet.
For the third row, the pattern is one single crochet, one increase, and repeat four times around for a total of 12 stitches. As for rows 4 and 5, uh, just make 12 single crochets in each round. In the last 6th row, we will be doing 6 decreases, so you will decrease from a total of 12 stitches to 6 to close the week. After this you can cut the yarn, leave a little bit longer tail so that you can sew the beak onto the head afterwards. And before you sew it on, don't forget to stuff it with a little bit of hollow fibre. And then using your tapestry needle and the long end which we left, sew on the beak to the head in between the eyes.
Okay, and that's it. We have the finished head. And in part two, I will show you how to make the body, the wings, and the Gryffindor scarf. So see you next time.